Big box of Millennium, big open field. Check out the first flights with me. I got three QMSs, one in Quantum and then two in DT. Yeah, really, really straight. I mean, that's just everything you could want. Pinpoint accuracy, throw them straight, they go straight. It should be a little bit more stable of a disc. Yep. Kind of held that hyzer angle the whole way. Next up, the Solstice. Got it in DT and in Color Glow. If y'all know, it's the OG MD4, so if you're missing out on that, pick yourself up one. DT first. There we go. That one's really helping me. You can actually kind of see it. A true flight. Tailwind's just gonna make a disc more stable. A little bit. But we're learning, we're learning. Just consistent. That's what I would say with the Solstice. It's just consistent. Got the Heiserbaum mortar. I think this is a beadless gator. So let's give it a little bit of ante. Maybe a lot of bit of ante. But came out the flex line pretty well. Next up, Sentinels. Really shallow. I don't know if I'm not really vibing with how shallow it is. I'll do I'll do one fan grip and one power grip. Okay. It's like a tick more stable than the solstice. Okay, that one flipped up. That might be a little lighter, but could be more speed too. Next up, Polaris LS. Feels like a Leopard and FD, almost. Feels good, it's like really stiff too. And it flies really good. It's like a longer QMS, I'd say. Something I've been missing. Next up, Orion LF, got it in Sirius. Then I have it in Glow, so we call these the Golf Glow Orion LF. Pretty excited for those, honestly. The Sirius Orion LS feels pretty nice. Nice, look at that. And that's just longer Polaris LS. Interesting. All right, here we go. This thing feels like a Draco. Yep, a little bit faster of a Draco. Probably straighter. Yeah. That's just more ever stable than the series. It's got that bite. Still has the still has the early flip up, but it has that bite at the end, which is nice. Alright, one more. Yeah. It's just money. Very good. The one competing in that, Heiserbahn Marksman. Feels a little bit different in the hand. Not as aggressive, but same flight. These are really stiff too. Big fan of that. Okay, that, that Heiser is a little bit more. Straight at the gate, more of a stable than the Orion LF. Kinda gonna lay into this one a bit more. beefier one so I still have to test that disc or not if I want it. It's gonna be really hard to find in the woods I'll tell you that much. Now we have the Orion LS. It's gonna be the flippier version of it. Maybe not. It's like effortless though we'll say. 
All right, next up, Color Glow Sabat. This is like a farther, more of a stable Firebird. I don't see myself using this that much. We're gonna go skip shot. So that'd be good if I need to get around the corner. Millennium Falcons, ranging from 168 to max weight. We're gonna go lightweight first. Yeah, that thing is sick. It just turns over the whole way. Okay, more of a more of a left to right, so that explains why it came over. Max weight. Ah. Uh, I'll show the other clip. I didn't give that one justice. Ooh, look at that. Holy crap. Go. Wow. Hit the fence. Hit the fence. Ooh. Just barely hit the fence on that. It's like a low line laser beam. Helio Falcon. Looks really cool. This is the flattest of them all. Yeah. That'll get used a ton. Dude, that is just nuked. That thing is cooking, dude. Love it. Next up, Scorpius, overstable disc. This is 163 grams. Okay, that thing comes out quick. That thing comes out quick with how lightweight it is. Got to wait on this lacrosse player, my fellow brethren. Go far. Two fence shots. All right, that'll do it.